Hey, hey, my name is Malika. I'm on a journey to lose about 200 pounds and today is my weigh-in day. So before I get into that, I want to talk about motivation and commitment. We know that at the beginning of the year, we're excited. It's like a fresh start and we're making new goals and our motivation is really high. So right now it's almost the middle of January and some people's motivation has already kind of tapered off because we know motivation goes like this right? It doesn't stay high all the time. There's going to be dips in your motivation. Your motivation is affected by things going on internally as well as externally. So when our motivation is high, it's easy for us to stick to our goals, like maybe eating well or sticking to an exercise plan that we've set for ourselves. But when we have that dip in motivation, sometimes we're like, I don't even care anymore. I don't want to do this. But that's where our commitment has to really kick in. So when you're committed, that means that you're going to stick to your goal or your plan that you had for yourself, even when that excitement has left you. So one of those things that can help when you have those dips is really remembering the reasons of why you set those goals in the first place. So go back and review those, or if you didn't, maybe sit down and write them down and, and think about all the reasons why you wanted to achieve those goals that you set out for yourself. Another thing that can help is kind of setting up some like mini commitments or like minutements, minutements. So for instance, some of you know, I decided to do a walking challenge for myself where I walked a mile a day for 14 days and I do not like to walk, okay? So this really took some commitment for me. So on the first day, I, you know, kind of was motivated to get out there and try it. But then that first day, I realized like, wait a minute, this is actually work. So my motivation dipped. So for instance, in that case, instead of committing to the bigger goal of going out and walking that one mile, maybe my mini commitment is that I'm just going to put on my tennis shoes. Or maybe you sleep in your workout clothes the night before. And so that way, when you wake up, you're already dressed and ready to go. All you have to do is put your shoes on. Another idea is that you could commit to just five minutes. Like, okay, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go walk for five minutes. And so if you think about it, if you put your shoes on or maybe you slept in your workout clothes or you just went out and walked or worked out for five minutes, chances are you're going to go ahead and do more because a lot of times it's just the getting up and getting started. We kind of have to get over that hump to keep going and follow through on our plans or our commitments. And so having those mini commitments will help you to build those habits that will sustain you until your motivation spikes again. And eventually what will happen when your motivation takes that dip again, you'll have set yourself up for success because of your mini commitments and the habits that you had set and you'll be ready and committed to keep working towards your goal. So don't give up on the goals and the plans that you have for yourself this year. If you find that you have that dip in motivation and you're wanting to give up, just set up those mini commitments so that you can at least still be moving towards your goal. Okay, so let's get into my weigh-in. So this week, my weight was 317.6. So that means I'm down 1.6 for the week and 16 pounds total. So things are going really well for me on my weight loss journey so far. The plan I have set in place for myself is working for me. And so I'm really happy about that. And if you don't know what I mean, make sure to watch this video because it will explain exactly what I'm doing on my journey to lose about 200 pounds and at least up until this point so far. And if I need to make changes along the way, I will certainly do that. And I also just want to say thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. So whether you give the videos a thumbs up or you're commenting, or even if you're just viewing the video, I really do appreciate that. It's encouraging for me and it really does help hold me accountable to continue on my journey. So thank you so much for that. And like I said in the beginning, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is one for accountability for me, but also to hopefully inspire others along their health journeys. So hopefully by watching me go through my health journey, it will inspire you on yours or at least to reach some other goals that you may have for yourself. So again, thank you so much. You guys have an awesome day and I will see you back next time. Bye-bye.